we are looking at how to find area and perimeter of a circle and its portions. But before, we need to know important lines that are inside and around a circle. First, we have a straight line from one end of the circle to another end of the circle, passing through the center. This is known as diameter. And the symbol for diameter is a small letter D. Second one, we have a straight line from one end of the circle to the center of the circle. This straight line is known as a radius. And its symbol is a small letter R. Thirdly, we have a straight line from one end of the circle to another end of the circle, not passing center. This one is known as a chord. And also, we have a straight line only touching the circle. This one is known as a tangent. So these are important lines to remember. But our aim today is how do we find area and perimeter of a circle and its portion. But before we go on, we need to find what is the difference between circumference and perimeter. Previously, we said perimeter is the total distance around the shape. Total distance around the shape. For example, here, we have our shape here, which is a circle. So the total distance around, around this circle is known as perimeter. Look at the second one. This is called a semi-circle, a semi-circle, if it passes through the center. If I want to know perimeter, means I have to go around the whole curve, then I also go around the diameter to complete movement, and that will be called perimeter. Also, if you look at a quarter circle, if you look at a quarter circle, perimeter, I have to go around the curve, then I take on the radius, and I take on another radius to reach where I began. So this is uh, the meaning of perimeter, is to go around the given, the given, the given shape. But circumference, circumference, if you check proper, it comes from the word circle. Circumference, this is the distance around a circle. And to be more specific, circumference is only representing the curve movement, the curve movement. Meaning, if my shape is not a full circle, the part which is representing circumference is only this curve. Only the curve part is representing the portion of the circumference. And if you look at the third example here, only the curve is the circumference. So that is our main difference between our perimeter and circumference. Now, how do we find area of a circle? We have the main formula that area of a circle is given by pi r square, pi r square. This formula doesn't change much. If it is a half a circle, then I will take half of the area of a full circle. And if it is a quarter circle, I will take one quarter of the area of a full circle. If it is three quarter circle, then I will take three over four of the full circle area. So these are the formulas for finding area of a, of a circle. And this is for half of a circle, quarter of a circle, and three quarter of a circle. Now, when we're talking about circumference, we can either use radius or diameter. So in finding circumference using diameter, 
the formula is pi d. But if I want to use radius, then it will be 2 pi r. Now, this is coming from the knowledge we just saw above. Radius is half the movement. Diameter is double the movement, meaning two radius are equal to one diameter. Two radius is equal to one diameter. So when we come here to find the circumference of a half a circle, it will be a half pi d. It will be a half pi d. And even if I want to use 2 pi r, then I will have to multiply it by a half. And circumference of a quarter circle, it will be 1 over 4 pi d if I'm using diameter, but it will be 1 over 4 times 2 pi r if I'm using a radius. The same to 3 quarter, it will be 3 over 4 pi d or it will be 3 over 4 times 2 pi r. One thing to remember, when I am finding a full circle, this means circumference is full circle. But when I have a half a circle, what is circumference is only this portion, only the curve part. This curve part is what is represented as circumference. And when I'm dealing with a quarter circle, only this curve here, only the curve that is representing circumference. But when I do perimeter, is the total distance around any shape. This means if it is a circle, full circle, the perimeter of a full circle will be exactly just like the circumference of a full, a full circle. Because now the circumference of a circle is just like the perimeter of a circle. But when we come to a half a circle, it will change a bit. First, I will have to find the half pi d, the circumference. That is, I have to find the movement from here till there. But I must add the diameter since I need to complete the whole semicircle movement. The same to quarter circle. I will take 1 over 4 pi d plus 1 radius plus the second radius because 1 over 4 pi d is the curve part. Then plus radius, plus radius, I complete my, my movement. Also, for a three-quarter circle, first I will get the curve part, then I will plus the two radiuses here this radius and that radius to complete the whole movement. However, for the part of perimeter, we only add diameter if it is exactly a semicircle. We only add radius and radius if it is exactly a quarter circle. Sometimes we are given a compound shape like this one. When you have a compound shape, yes, here till there, that is a half, half a circle, which is a half a circumference. So if I need to find perimeter of this shape, I will start with a half pi d to represent this part. But I won't say plus d. What I'll do, since I'm finding perimeter, I will take this distance, I will add this distance, I will add this distance, and lastly, this distance to get my perimeter. So it will be plus this side, plus that side and plus this side. Then this will be how I find the perimeter of a, a compounding shape. But for circumference, it will remain the same because the only part which is a curve is the half by d. So it won't change. However, for area now, it will change because we have a semicircle and also we have a rectangle. So it will be a half pi r square for the semicircle, then I will plus length times width because it is now a rectangle. It is now a rectangle. So this is how we find area 
and the perimeter <clears throat> okay, of o, circles and its portions. Thank you for watching.